Hey, welcome back. Such a beautiful day outside today. I want to say it's spring. Like, I want the words to, like, come out of my mouth. Pero, it's going to snow on Monday. I was inspired by this wonderful weather that's going to be here for, like, 2.5 seconds. And I was even more inspired by this uh, liquid lipstick from Lime Grime. And it's called Squash. It's very, it's very orange. And I feel like if I combine these two, they'll look really pretty. So let's get to it. I'm going to use my MAC Strobe Cream. I love this stuff. Literally a little bit goes a long way. Rub it between my hands to warm it up. And I just apply it. One of the reasons I love this is because it smells divine. I like the way Mac, Mac products, I'm really like enunciating my words. I like the way Mac products smell. And I feel like once they get to the skin, that all dissolves. Um, and uh, I like that it keeps my skin tacky. It's not... Its purpose is not to be a primer, but I know that some people that do use it, use it as a primer. So when I do want prime skin, um, I've got a ton, but I'm really going for like a luminous skin. So I'm going to amp up the luminosity to this Coconut Skin Smooth Priming Moisturizer from Hello Fab. I like this a lot and a little bit goes, hold on, hold on. There we go. And I want to put this one at the high points of my cheek, around my nose, a little bit on my chin, places I know I'm going to highlight. Um, a long time ago, I was really obsessed with using a primer and putting um, like a setting powder sort of my nose, but my skin's been changing a lot and it's not as oily anymore because of like the ordinary products that I've been using. Maybe it's gonna match. I see some yellow in there. <clears throat> I was really disturbed by this video I just saw before I started recording. Um, I don't want to incorporate my teeth look really white. I don't want to incorporate like um, drama or gossip from the entertainment world. But I was really disturbed by this video I just saw of <clears throat> of Fabulous and his, and his baby mama or his longtime girlfriend, uh, um, Emily B. That's really sad. Oh fuck! I just remembered. I put I'm Wallen. Um, of his longtime girlfriend. Uh, so I got this bro a longtime girlfriend, Emily B, and. It's kind of sad, the argument they had, and the, the fact that that's on, on, like, out there for the world. I like, um, I don't want to say I like, like, an audience, but I like, uh, not to say that I like attention, but I, I like having a stage, and I like for <clears throat> me to become something, but I think that's the scary side of fame and entertainment world that you just never know, and I feel like if they were regular Joe Schmoes, not saying that I condone his behavior, I'm just saying that it's embarrassing for their family and embarrassing because with the rise of technology, that video that surfaced of him practically about to abuse his, his longtime girlfriend, baby's mother, very practically his wife, will never not be in our eyes and it will never not be on the internet. Like, it is going to be plastered everywhere. And I think that's a scary thing about fame. Like, that's why a lot of people say, give me the wealth, but the fame, they don't need it. And there's people that thrive off of fame and wealth and can do, do amazing in it, but you have to be super productive. And I see why some people have, like, good girl images and good guy images because you don't want your secrets out. Everyone has secrets, and I think that is the scary part of fame that like we're all human and we all go through things and the fact that like your whole image 
is tarnished. Your whole image is just tarnished because of an incident you had with your girlfriend. Because of a private moment. And I really feel bad for those kids. I feel bad for... <clears throat> I feel bad for her. And I'm, I'm sure she's embarrassed that that is now on television. Oh, not television. Excuse me. That that is now um, out for the world to see. It's embarrassing. And he ruined his career. He ruined your career for one passionate moment of being upset about something so small and then you don't re it seems like he doesn't even realize it i feel like some people don't realize things are so small until like it blows up in their face so it's really sad so i got this brush um from it cosmetics it is the heavenly luxe bye bye foundation the number 22 um i have as you know i have a couple of them um i'm just gonna buff this in I do like this brush. Um, it's a really nice brush. You know what's funny? Lately I've been putting my foundation on first and that is really not me. See, the foundation's a little too dark. And then I added that other one that's probably too red to like blend it out. Before I finish my foundation, I really like this brush by the way. <clears throat> I'm going to just put a little bit of some eyeshadow primer just because I don't, I'm not really sure what um, eyeshadow I'm going to use to put just a little bit of <clears throat> this Urban Decay um, primer potion and just add that and the reason I'm looking down is to make sure I don't drop makeup because I am infamous for dropping makeup so I like to put the primer on and then I learned from I want to say Wayne Goss <clears throat> that when you're using foundation um, and if you want to give it a pour as you buff it in and then if you are wearing um, if you do foundation first and you wear eyeshadow primer you just put it over it so that it doesn't look like super white I know since he taught me that I use that I like to buff right here because that's where my pores are this is an oldie but a goodie I'm going to use my MAC uh, Pro Longwear Concealer in NC45. I'm just gonna dip a little bit of it and a little bit literally goes a long way. Like look how much concealer. Look how much concealer I'm using. Oh shit. This is so yellow. And the reason I, I even grabbed this one is because I know I'm gonna get like a real yellow yellow out of this. Because my foundation is dramatically um Darker. I think I want to bake mostly towards the inner eye. And then I'm just going to bring that down. I like to use a little bit of whatever's left just to dry the eyes, eyelids. I'm gonna go in with my contour kit. Quite funny. I don't need to do any on my forehead, but I always do. Like if, if I, I don't really have a huge forehead, but I do it anyway. I didn't take whatever. I still haven't set the rest of my face because I'm allowing my foundation to fully dry. This is like one of the best things that BoxyCharm has ever sent me. The best. The brush is amazing. The powder. Because my brows could get really um, oily throughout the day. And whenever I use this powder, it always stays. Oh, wait. Ooh. I created that strong brow. I probably should have went in with a lighter color. There we go. So, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I have been liking doing my brows um, after my foundation. Wow, I really like the brow. I should stop there. Eat Benai FB3 brush. And I'm going to find my baby. My baby, which is my NARS Soft Matte Creamy. And I'm just going to take a little bit. Not even that much. Not less than that. Cause that's really how I really really define it. I love the way my base looks. 
um, and just I like to just get under the arch just make sure that looks good you don't need too much See how it just looks like I've just got them freshly done. That's all I do is just put a little bit. Cause I've got just got a lot of pocket fat here. So like when I do put eyeshadow all the way up here, it looks really good. But anything on the lid doesn't, in my opinion. And then if I want to just get a little bit more defined, I'll take whatever's left and I'll just clean up. So I Put these last I got distracted, got a call, put these lashes on for like 45 minutes. I broke them, so it's longer here and it's slanted here, but they're on. This is why I won't do a tutorial on eyelashes because I don't know how I put them on. I forgot that the modern Renaissance palette, which you know I love, has um a color called Real Realger. Realger, Ralger, Realger, which is this color right here. And I was thinking about just taking my little blush brush and sort of dipping. This is for you, Megan. Just dipping a little bit. And it does have kickback, so whatever falls out, I could just grab. And it's such a pretty color. It's it's more burnt than it is, um, like, orange. Which is funny, because they have a color called burnt, burnt orange in there, but that's not going to pick up on my cheeks. And I want an orange that has like a brown I feel like this is like a mauve undertone and so I wanted to use that and so this is what my brush looks like I'm not gonna kick off uh, what's left because it took a lot for me to put this on the brush and I don't want to lose it so I'm gonna apply that to my cheeks and see how this comes up so ooh, that's gorge on camera it looks really good to me and uh, in person it looks really good to me so I think with that application, I only got um, maybe one cheek. Let me see if I get any for this cheek. No. All right. Oh, that looks really good. I love that. No. Maybe. Maybe no highlight. No. I'm silly. <laughs> so this is my babe. This is Prosecco Pop. It does have like a little bit of a white, but let's pack it up. Let's tap. And I think I'm going to hit the forehead first. Oh, the forehead came out nice. And then let's do the cheeks. Wow. This is really nice. Yeah. The only thing is Prosecco Pop is emphasizing a little bit of texture, but there's nothing a little fix plus can't fix. Um, I may need to do a mask while my skin looks really good. Besides these little tiny pimples on my forehead and here, I'm really loving the way that this looks. So I'm a little shiny here. That's why I always keep a fluffy brush for on deck <clears throat> I love how orangey I look right now just I want to get rid of this little bitch in a second get rid of this bitch Ooh. you are perfect to me I never do a nose highlight but I contoured my nose a little bit off camera and I don't know how, how I feel about it yet, but it's not terrible, but it's a little red. It's just like a little too red and it's coming up on camera. This is like an all over. I don't use this at all as much just because it's like a really big brush. Um, you should use it as a powder brush if you'd like, but if maybe you put too much powder on your face, this is a good brush to just sort of go over everything. 
I use this one and this one to do that. But I'll get I'll dip powder into this one just because I feel like it'll it'll get it like I don't know. I'm weird like that. Aren't you weird like that with your makeup? I said at the beginning of this video, I am intrigued by mixing these two. So we'll dry quickly, so let's move quickly. Ooh. Oohs and ahs. Let's take whatever is left on there. So the color that I'm getting is reminding me a lot of Freckle from um, Fenty Beauty. Which I like. Now I feel like I got a burnt orange. And this, I really like. So one of the reasons I made this video is one for myself. Um, it is so easy to get consumed by like makeup being released all the time. And trust me, I wanna buy everything, but realistically, I wanna go on vacation, I want a savings account, and I want a future for myself. And I feel like makeup is a luxury, it's not a necessity. And while I love doing my makeup and I love making tutorials, I think it's more important to be realistic with yourself that you don't have to go outside and buy everything. Squash is something that I've had in my, my makeup kit, not even my personal kit. And it's been sitting around and I bought it thinking that I was gonna wear it a year ago. I tried it the first time I bought it. I was like, it's a little too bright, but I didn't wanna get rid of it. And I put it in my makeup kit. I went into my makeup kit the other day and I was like, I want to be inspired by this lip color. But I knew that I wanted to wear a lot of orange just to match like my hair and just because I like burnt oranges and reds um, right now during spring. And so I had bought pumpkin the same day I bought squash and I was like, let me just merge the two and I'm happy that I, I got this. I could easily spend $18 and go and get Saucy or Freckle Fiesta from um, uh, Fenty Beauty and just have that color but I think it's important to just play around with the makeup that you have in your kit and I kind of just let my inspiration do its thing and I do love get ready's with me um and I do enjoy like just doing makeup and talking to you guys I'm gonna try to do these more often so I'm gonna leave you guys here thank you guys so much for continuing to support me I appreciate all the love likes and subscribes I'm growing slowly I'm patient I bought a backdrop I'm going to go out actually probably right now and go get a stand and the next time you see the video things will be brand new and things will be happening and I'm so grateful for you guys. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys next time.